Sup everybody, John Bradshaw here. We're on part two. This is Night of 58. Okay. The real killer. After severe thunderstorms, there is no light in the building. What is this? Oh. Wait, what is happening right now? Oh, am I in the past? Is that what's, is that what's going on? What do we got here? Got a candle. Oh, this is the past. Everything's so clean and neat. Very neat. Damn, I'm fat as fuck. Hey, who's singing? Hey, hey! Children and the caregivers are asleep. I won't bother them. Doesn't sound like they're asleep. They're singing. Oh, shit. I think I gotta open one of these. What do we got here? A little box. Why, why am I able to open that one? Oh, did I just see something? I'm oh, just to close it. Nothing. Okay. Anna, we need to run. It's all because of the director. I was spying on her. She was talking about something bad. You have to believe me. Warn everyone. We don't have much time until I hit the key in the closet. We can make it. Help me. Holy shit. Okay. Okay. What was that? Hey. Alarm clock. Dead crow. Hey. Hey, a key. It's the key to the safe. Where's the safe? <gasps> you filthy child. Who said that? Did I say that? Where's the safe? Oh, shit, I'm stupid, it's right here. How do I get to the safe? I need to spray sleeping gas so that all the children can be transferred to the hospital for surgery and then return back. Okay. The filter is missing and the glass is broken. We worked together with Alexei Sergevich in an orphanage. Then I acted carelessly and I received the complaint. The director had to close the shelter. I was suspended from medical work. Now, I will not make such a mistake because only he knows about our agreement. I must continue to find people for him to collect their kidneys. And Alexei Sergevich will help me perform a heart transplant operation for Ivan. According to all indicators from the medical record, Yakov is an ideal donor. I'll set up an accident and no one will look for him. And you ruined my gas mask, the prick. Okay. A special boy, Yakov, came to the camp. He has no parents or relatives. And he became my favorite because he's so similar to my son, Ivan. I really want to see him. Yakov is a good boy, although he does not speak, but he does understand everything and does everything I ask. In the afternoon, I had to meet with Alexei Sergevich at the shelter where we used to work. 
he ordered us to fulfill our agreement tonight. This day has come. Yakov will help me with this. Before going to bed, the children always invent horror stories while the counselors put them to bed. This can distract them. K. Okay. Oh. Hey, I see you, dude. Is that grandma? Grandma? Hey. Hey. Okay, I gotta find a cylinder. Wait, what about my mask? Wait, what about my mask? Ivan, I'll save you soon. Oh, fuck. Oh. Who the hell? Who the hell are you, dude? Hey, what the fuck? Holy shit! I better get my Russian English dictionary. Maria's diary. Take. Take it. Okay, so what the hell is going on? So he gassed the kids to take them to the hospital. So you could take that kid's kidney and give it to his son? What the hell? It's locked. There's someone behind it. Hello? Well, I'm out of here. Ladies? Fuck. Okay, what do I do? Hello? Oh, there's a fucking note right here, my dumbass. You were told, crossed out, to get out of here. Leave this place alone. Okay. There are empty pages left in Maria's diary. You can use them to enter. Uh, I hear them standing outside the fucking door. Holy shit. I'm probably gonna need my yeah I know what happened here let me help you tell me who you are good one good one dude good one there you go oh shit took my note Oh, fuck. Come on, man. You're gonna give me a call? Hello? Hello? You ready? <laughs> oh! <gasps> fuck! I should try writing the letter again, okay. He just left me on red and then scared the shit out of my ass. I read that people were killed here. Did, did you do that? Tell me, and then I can help you. Tell me. Don't fucking scare me, dude. Just let me help you. Oh no. I was accused, but I didn't do it. Get out of here. <laughs> what the hell? The 
Hello? Hello, kid? Was he the one pooping on the ceiling? Oh! What the hell was that? Do another note. Hit him up. Telegram his ass. Is your name Yakov? I've been living here alone for years. Oh. Is your name Yakov? Have you been living here for many years? Yakov? Is that you? Is that you, Yakov? Yakov. Oh, shit. Hey. Who the fuck is running like that? Hey, a letter. Has it always been there? Yes, here I can communicate with my friends. We guard this place because it's our home. A lot of people came here just to break our things, but my friends helped me to drive away strangers. I'm afraid that someone will see me and tell me that I live here and those people will come for me. Hello? Oh, shit! Freaking bunny, dude! Who are your friends? Why are they here too? Probably those little kids, I would assume. Why are your friends assholes, dude, and keep trying to scare my ass? Can you can you tell them to quit their shit? The spirits of this place, to those who were tortured here, they remain locked up here. That day, in the evening after lights out, someone came. Probably it was the person with whom the director spoke. He didn't find me. I think that because of this, he poisoned all the residents and the director. Oh. The hell? All this was planned by the director of the camp? What are you talking about? What kind of person was she talking to? Hello? I can't look to see who's knocking. Who's that? Who the hell was that? Take a look. It's all her. I saw our director talking to someone in an old hospital near the camp. They agreed that they would do their work at night. Then I realized that it was connected with us, but I couldn't warn everyone. I didn't see who else was there because I was scared and hid. In the morning, I went out into the building and found no one. Her safe was also not there. I thought that the man and his assistants had taken everyone away and hidden the bodies in the building. I had to stay here until I had to stay here and live in the ventil in the ventilation. Only sometimes go to the rooms. That building abandoned? Can I get there? What the hell?
Yakov doesn't answer anymore. It's time to go to the abandoned hospital. Need to tear the boards off the front door. Alright, let's do it. Now pull that shit off. What the hell, dude? Can't just lock it like a normal person. You gotta board it up. Night number three. Uh. Yakov said I could find proof here. Let's take a look around. My Russian English dictionary. Oh! What the fuck? I just came here. I need to find proof. I was hoping to get the fuck out of here, dude. What are you looking for proof for? He's dead, dude. Alright, doors are chained up. Do I need something from here? The hell was that? Can I open it now? No. Hey. What the hell is going on? What the fuck? Wait. What just happened? What the fuck? The whole freaking room changed. 1946, after the war, dozens of children end up in shelters after losing their parents. An orphanage for the maintenance and upbringing of orphans worked under the leadership of the military. So freaking loud, dude, I can't even think. Hello? Just fell, something just fell down and opened up my door? Hey baby. Hey little guy. What's up? Okay. This sort of leads to another corridor. I have an angle grinder with me in my backpack. I can cut, cut the chains. Fucking damn it, dude. What the fuck? This place won't let me go out to finish what I started. Yeah, well, get your angle grinder, bro, and get to work. Okay. Why don't you just do that to begin with, dude? There was two locked doors. And now you take out the, ang the angle grinder. Alright, what's going on? What's this? I know what I'm doing wrong, but I have no choice. I have to save my son Ivan. I was so lucky that Alexei Sergevich Sir, Sir, agreed to help. I mustn't let him down. No one should know about our affairs. Well... Poor Alexi, he dead, man. 
Hey. Who's there? Okay. I think I feel like I've been jump scared so many times in this game. It doesn't even scare me anymore. At least not those, right? The last two. Okay. What do we got here? I didn't have time to save him. I don't believe it. This can't be happening. This is not my Vanekala. I'll save him. I need to find a donor urgently. Okay. And I guess that was Alexi. Alexi's the donor. Can I go in here now? Let's check it out. The better the angle grinder has run out. The hell, dude. What do we got here? I don't know if I'll make it to the morning because today's shift is bothering me. I want to run away from here, but then I won't get paid. I hear voices as if I'm not alone. I thought I saw a woman, more like her silhouette or shadow. She went into the closet. I'm afraid to follow her and move the closet. I don't want to check if it's true, or maybe it's just my imagination, which is sharpened after a glass of vodka. On the cabinet, waste some products made of feathers and cobwebs. I have never seen them anywhere. They look terrible, and it smells of dead things there. What? K. Okay. that baby again am I done here I guess not Hey, baby. Cool. Thing this way. Oh, come on. All right, that one didn't get me. That one didn't get me either. So we got... A year later, after the events in 1950, the building was reclassified as a hospital. But with budget cuts, it stopped working again. Okay. 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 Oh. The hell? Just pull this big ass thing out of the way? And kick these down? There you go. Oh, sheet! Well, this does not look good. Hey, who built that wall right behind me? Some good builders. 
Let the one who finds me feel the pain of a mother who lost her child. I curse everyone who couldn't help me. And I'm not just going to leave. I'll be back. What she meant by that? How and how would she return? Maria, I'm so sorry. I'll take that. Have a sacrificial knife, you know, in case I gotta, you know, sacrifice someone. What do we got here? Here are the documents from 1958. Alexei Sergevich, about whom Maria spoke, replied that he would no longer participate in this and refused to work with her. Then what was the case in question and who was she talking to when Yakov saw her? There's something else. The death certificate document. This is her son Ivan. He died in the fall of 1950. Apparently he couldn't stand it, and apparently she couldn't stand it and went crazy. She wanted to save him so badly that she'd lost touch with, her, with reality. Poor woman. Down's intense. Death certificate. Oh! Fuck. Oh shit. My bad. Didn't mean to look up your blouse there. I'm not a necrophilia. I'm not into that shit. Okay, that one fucking got me. Holy oh, shit. Can I go? Probably gonna scare my ass one more- Oh, I guess not. Three weeks later. <laughs> okay. It's been three weeks since my last uh, visit to the demon house. Everything's changed. There's still a freaky ass bunny. There's dishes all over the floor. The hallway still looks like shit. Someone reboarded up these fucking doors. Hello, Yakov. You no longer need to be afraid that you will be found and accused of something you did not do. I've taken care of everything. I didn't tell anyone that you live here with your friends. Protect this place further. Now it's rightfully only your home. Your friend, Alex Morton. Well, shit. Hey, that baby's there behind the glass. I'm glad that this investigation turned out to be so interesting and unique. I managed to solve the mystery of 58 and help Yakov find peace and freedom. You can read about him about this in my blog, but we need to move on. I'm going up to another place with a terrible history where witches used to live, and there I will have an unusual case. I will tell you about it later. Nice. That was pretty badass, dude.
freedom. Out of that fucking old place. Freedom. Summer of 58. A few days later. Oh shit, I'm playing. Okay. A few days later. I'm still here, dude. The battery's dead. You didn't charge your camera, bro? I had to wait for the person who bought this house. But after his arrival, a few days later, something went wrong. This place has ceased to be harmless. I'm trapped here. I don't think that a woman from a shelter in Russia could get attached and follow me. Does this house have a pendulum for people like her? What if the spirits followed me? Maybe that's why I, can, I didn't find anyone in those houses. I miraculously managed to escape from that abandoned orphanage, but I'm not sure that I will be released now. We need to try and get out and warn that guy that it's dangerous to stay here. Okay. Gonna get the hell out of here. So. Got my backpack. Oh. All right. I'm uh, I'm heading out. You talk fast. Oh shit. What the hell, Grandma? To be continued, dude. Well, Grandma got me. Summer of 58. It's pretty fucking awesome. If y'all like the video, leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you all in the next video.